Have you ever wondered what happened to the lost ten tribes of Israel? This is a question that has challenged Bible scholars and historians for centuries. Now the Bible does tell us that as the Assyrian Empire came against the northern ten tribes some 2,700 years ago, that there were members of the northern tribes who heeded the warnings of the prophets and they fled south to Jerusalem and to the kingdom of Judea. Others who were taken into exile came back with Ezra and Nehemiah and rejoined the Jewish mainstream. And so we can say with confidence that the Jewish people we have with us today contain significant remnants of all 12 tribes. Yet there were many from the northern ten tribes who were indeed lost to history, and the search for them goes on to this day. Now the body that has the final say in determining who truly has Jewish ancestry are the chief rabbis of Israel who sit here in the great synagogue in Jerusalem. In the late 1970s, a few individuals from a small group located in northeast India began to research the origins of their religious traditions and their ancestry. Their research led them to discover an ancestral connection to Israel. Under Persian rule, their ancestors traveled through the Silk Route to modern-day Afghanistan, Tibet, China, and finally to Northeast India, in the midst of Myanmar and Bangladesh. This particular group, called the Bene Menashe, or Sons of Menashe, are believed to be descendants from the lost tribe of Manasseh. In the early 1980s, members of the group made contact with an organization in Israel, expressing an interest in returning to their ancient homeland. Recently, I was part of a delegation from the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, which was privileged to welcome 53 members of the Bene Menashe tribe home to Israel at Ben Gurion Airport. It was a remarkable experience, and what really stood out to me is the sense these people had that they were carrying the weight of so many generations that had longed to come home. They realized they had the privilege to be the ones to stand for the first time back in the land of Israel. It was a hope they had carried for generations. The Christian Embassy supports the return of the Bene Menashe because we believe it is the incredible handiwork of God. The prophet Isaiah in chapter 43 promises, I will bring your descendants from the east. For the 13 families that we recently welcomed home at Ben Gurion Airport, the long journey for them was finally over. But there are still 7,000 Bene Menashe remaining in Northeast India who are longing to come home, and we've committed to help them. The return of the Pnei Menashe, the sons of Menashe, to the land of Israel is one of the most exciting developments of our days. This is exactly what the Bible speaks about in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 3, where God says He will bring back from captivity the sons of Israel, the house of Judah, back to their land to possess it. And we want to invite you to become part of this exciting end-time prophetic action of God and to place a financial seed into God's return of the chosen people to the land of Israel. Become a partner of the Christian Embassy and help us to bring the Bnei Menashe, the sons of Menashe, back to the land of Israel. We are your embassy here in Jerusalem. May the Lord bless you out of Zion.